Hi, I'm Justin Morgan, Senior Product Engineer with Direct Supply. Before you install a new bed, you need to prepare an area to work in. You'll want to have plenty of room in a space away from residents. Residents should not be near the bed until it's set up and the space is clear of debris. Inspect the shipment for any damage before you begin. If you find that parts are damaged or that there has been a mistake with the order, do not use the bed. Instead, contact Direct Supply and we'll make it right. Take the bed out of the box and set it horizontally on its casters. Inspect the bed frame for damage once again to check for hidden freight damage. You'll begin by installing the wall bumper. To install the bumper, rotate the bed on its side or turn it upside down. You will need two people for this step. Once the bed is turned, place the loops of the bumper so that the cut end is between the axle and the caster base connecting angle. With a rubber mallet, force the bumper ends onto the axle. Using a second person for assistance, return the bed to its upright position. Now, cut the pink zip ties, which are used to protect the bed and shipping. Also, cut the black zip ties to remove the hand pendant and power cord. Do not cut any white zip ties. Next, you'll install the headboard and footboard. Before you begin this step, you may want to raise the bed for better access and visibility. Start by attaching the vertical brackets to the opposite sides of the headboard and footboard with the provided screws. Insert horizontal brackets into the mounting tubes until you hear the buttons snap into alignment in the second set of holes. Check that these are secure before moving on. Then. Place the vertical brackets into the horizontal brackets and slide the pin through both brackets to secure. If you have a bed with staff control, plug the RJ45 plug into the port located at the foot end of the bed. To install the mattress retainers, start by locating two sets of quarter inch holes at each bed corner in the outer corners of the head and foot deck. Then insert each leg of the mattress retainer. With the leg of each side of the mattress retainer positioned in the correct hole, rotate the retainer toward the corner of the bed while slowly inserting the legs further into the holes. When fully rotated, press the mattress retainer into position. For 3500 model beds, insert the mattress retainers into the appropriate holes near the head and foot ends of the sleep deck and make sure that the retainers are positioned so they angle toward the mattress. If necessary, connect the hand pendant. You can position the handset control on either the right or left side of the bed. As shipped, the bed has a handset control plugged into a Y cable on the resident's left side. To relocate to the right, unplug the handset from its current position and insert into the other end of the Y cable. To install assist devices, insert the snap-in nylon bushings into the sleep deck mounting holes on the bed frame. You can then insert the assist device attachment pins into the outer and inner mounting holes. Make sure that the rail is properly located on the bed. The grooves should be on the inside of the inner mounting holes. Secure the device to the sleep deck by snapping in a retention pin located on the underside of the head or foot sleep deck between the assist device holes. Simply snap the retention pin into the groove at the end of both attachment pins. Check that all retention pins are secure. Repeat these steps for devices located on the opposite side of the bed. Assist devices may also be mounted at the foot end of the bed if necessary. For Panacea 3000 and 3250 beds, you have the option to set the bed's width using an optional width extension kit. Do this by inserting snap-in nylon bushings into the mounting holes on the head, stationary, knee, and foot decks. Then slide the width extension kit's attachment pins into the mounting holes. Place between holes 1 and 2 to expand the bed to 39 inches, and between holes 3 and 4 to expand the bed to 42 inches. Secure the extension pieces using the included quick-release pins. Repeat these steps for the remaining width kit extension pieces. At this stage of setup, you should check that the bed's functions are working correctly. 
check that the hand pendant works correctly and then see that the staff controls, articulating assist devices, and safety lock are also functioning. Finally, you'll want to prepare the bed for use. Position the bed in its desired location, allowing for about an inch of space between the wall guard and the wall. Then, lock the bed's casters. For beds with safety locks, set the steering lock casters at the head first, and then those on the foot. Make sure that the bed is plugged into the correct outlet. Then, place an appropriately sized mattress on the bed frame within the bed's mattress retainers. Before using your bed, read your full owner's manual and check for any entrapment concerns. Do not exceed the safe working load of your bed listed in your owner's manual. Be sure to include the weight of the side rails, mattress, bedding, head and footboards, and assistive devices. If you have any questions about the setup of your new Panacea bed, contact your account manager.